Jim Henson once proposed the idea of something called Dog TV. It would have been released from the fictional pet home video. It would have been a series of what can be described as novelty gifts, where it's soap operas and workout videos and training videos, but it's all about dogs. Now, you might think this idea is ridiculous. Don't worry. Jim thought it was ridiculous too. In fact, that was the whole point of it. Home video was a new technology, and Jim Henson wanted in on it. This is the history of Muppet Home Video. In the 1970s, a new form of entertainment was born, home video, making it possible to watch your favorite movies and television shows from the comfort of your couch. Jim, being a man who loved seeing the evolution of technology, was eager to be able to distribute his productions in any way possible. Now, in 1980, Magnetic Video released the first Muppet product home video and what better way to start than with the Muppet movie though that wasn't the only version of the Muppet movie released in 1980 the Muppet movie along with the great Muppet caper would be later re-released by CBS Fox yes there was a time when these two companies were together 1983 however would be a big year for Muppets on video. We got the first release of The Dark Crystal, several videos of the Dutch production of Fraggle Rock, and five productions distributed by WDTNT, Walt Disney Telecommunications and Non-Theatrical Company. Under the Muppet Home Video name, these were available on VHS, Laserdisc, and various other formats. So you can thank Disney for bringing us Fraggle songs, Doozer music, and the Tales from Muppet Land series, which includes the only home video release of Muppet Musicians of Bremen. Now the other productions you're all familiar with, but what is Fraggle songs? Basically think of Disney's sing-along song series, except there's no bouncing ball and the words aren't on screen. So it's just a lot of songs. The sad but somewhat hilarious thing is the full title is Fraggle Songs Volume 1. There was no Volume 2. However, there was a VHS called Doozer Music released a year later. And it's 16 minutes long and features only like three actual doozer songs. <laughs> but even for these short compilations, Jim wanted new footage to accompany it. So Traveling Matt was made the host to introduce the songs and explain things. Kind of like what Jiminy Cricket and that owl would do. My God, Disney stole everything. These tapes are fascinating. They feature no previews and only a brief logo for Muppet Home Video before the program begins. But the thing that baffled me was just finding information on these. It's pretty much non-existent. And what's even more crazy are the prices for these. They range from decent to good lord. So is it worth it? Well, unless you're a diehard fan of Muppet Musicians of Bremen, I ain't say no. They they look nice, they're they all follow the same design, the same aesthetic, but finding a decent copy just isn't worth it. These damn bubble clamshells, they just don't age well. Jump forward a few years to 1984, 
Jim Henson and Jerry Jewell picked a set of clips from The Muppet Show, which had ended production four years earlier, and they combined them into various themed programs, along with filming new footage with The Muppets to tie it all together, similar to what he did for the Fraggle videos. And in 1985, this series of compilations would be released on VHS under the name of Jim Henson's Muppet Video. Fans have named them after the company that released them, making them known as the Playhouse Video Series. Playhouse Video was a division of CBS Fox Video under their children category, such as Shirley Temple films, Mr. Rogers episodes, and of course, The Muppets. Overall, there were 10 videos in the Playhouse line, all released in 1985. Think of these as like Muppet clip shows, whether it be Kermit and Fozzie going through an attic and finding old Muppet show props and being like, don't you remember when we did this? Gonzo presenting a tribute to all the weirdness of the Muppet show, or Rolf the dog being a DJ for a country station. Now, back in 1985, these tapes retailed for $14.95, and if we adjust for inflation, that would be around $35 today, which, yeah, that's kind of the average price for a Blu-ray. So how much do they go for on eBay? A little more than $35. I only own a few of them, and it was cases of seeing a decent price and just jumping right on it. Occasionally, one of them will be uploaded to YouTube, but it'll very quickly get taken down. The most common thing you'll find are the openings and closings of the VHS. It really sucks because they all have original footage. This isn't a case of, oh, an article said my VHS tapes are valuable because they have a diamond on the spine. This. This is a situation where, given Disney's track record, we'll probably never see these on DVD. As for the Muppet Home Video line, outside of Muppet Musicians of Bremen, the specials would be re-released, some more than others. And you can actually find both Fraggle songs and Doozer music on the Blu-ray of the complete series of Fraggle Rock. That's a really cool bonus feature. Despite their unfortunate pricing, the WD, TNT, and Playhouse videos are important to Muppet history. This allowed Jim to not only release his productions to audiences to watch whenever they wanted to, but he was able to create new content and film new footage and create something that was kind of new in itself. This would pave the way for the productions of the late 80s and the early 90s, many of which are beloved to this day. However, maybe it shouldn't just be Muppet home video. This was the start of Jim Henson home video. I hope you enjoyed this lesson in Muppet history. And if you did, please give us a like. And if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you would like to see exclusive episodes of Muppet history, consider joining our Patreon. For $1 a month, you'll get exclusive episodes of Muppet history and help keep this show alive. Thank you for watching.